If you clicked on this video, it's probably for two reasons. One, you want to prove me wrong. You think I'm lying. You think I'm clickbaiting you. There is no way he stopped guitar. Or number two, you're interested to know why I stopped guitar. These are two good reasons, and I want to save you time and tell you you're right. You're proving me wrong. I'm clickbaiting you. I'm lying. I did not stop guitar. So why am I making this video? I'm making this video because a couple years ago, a few months ago, let's say a couple years ago, something changed with me when it comes to guitar. And I wanted to talk about it because my perspective changed on guitar in a way that I want it to stay. And this perspective change can apply to many instruments and that's why I think it's important to talk about, especially in the guitar world. Because if you play guitar, you're definitely prone to this happening to you and it might be happening to you right now. So here's what would happen. I would get an idea, I would get inspired, and I would think, oh, let me go record this in my studio. So I would walk in, I would plug my guitar in, and then I would notice that within five to 10 minutes, I would instantly lose this inspiration. I would instantly lose this interest in this idea, and I would move on. So it became a cycle where I get inspired, I come to record, I lose interest, I get inspired, I lose interest. And this cycle ended up ending at the inspiration. I started thinking, there's no point in trying to record this. I'm just gonna get uninspired. But why? Why was this happening? So let me just start off by saying I'm the laziest person I know. And it might be because of ADHD, I don't care, whatever it is. But when I have an idea, I want it done. I wanna record this idea, or I wanna write this idea, or I wanna film this idea, I wanna paint this, whatever it is. I get something, I wanna get it done as fast as I can. I don't want it to linger. I'm not one of these people who work on projects for days and weeks. Most of the songs that you hear that I've released were a result of a few hours of work, maybe a couple days, but they add up to hours, they don't add up to days. So I noticed that with the guitar, whenever I do want to get the idea out, there were too many moving parts. I mean, yes, I'm gonna plug the guitar in and I'm gonna tune it, but I couldn't find the sound I want, I couldn't find the tone I want, there was always something. And yes, this is laziness, I do admit, but there was a point where I asked myself, it shouldn't be this hard to get consistency because I want the idea to have a smooth road from my brain onto the DAW, right? I don't want these and I'm not a gear guy. I want the gear to do the job that it's supposed to do. I don't want it to get in the way. And I noticed that my gear was getting in the way. So it became a problem. It became a problem. So now I have ideas right here. I have results right here. But in the middle was my gear and my laziness. It changed the day that I got my first acoustic guitar. Hear me out. How can an acoustic guitar solve all my problems? Well, up until that point, I've only had electrics. So an electric guitar, you can't really get work done unless you plug it in. With the acoustic, you don't have to plug it in. For the first time, I was able to sit on the couch and just jam ideas away on record on my phone or whatever. Yes, you can do that with an electric but it doesn't have the same acoustics because it's an electric guitar. So there's always something missing. Why don't you get a portable amp? Shut up, let me finish. One of the first times I grabbed an acoustic and sat on the couch, I played a couple chords, I sang some dumb lyrics. My ex was sitting on the living room table and there were some stupid lyrics. And I looked at her. She didn't really let laugh because they were stupid. But I told her, hey, I'm gonna release this song. And that song was, I wish I was a horse. origin story, right? And this was one of the first times where it clicked in my head that it doesn't have to be this hard to record something. It doesn't have to be this hard to make something up and release it. And it was just the stability of the instrument that got me there. And it's not just the stability, it's the simplicity of it. It's just a piece of wood with strings, no electronics. That took away all the moving parts on that smooth road from the idea to the idea. <laughs> and I didn't even know these moving parts were the problem until they were gone. The day that I decided that I wanted an acoustic, I hit up Orangewood Guitars, and they sent me the Ava Mahogany. Now, could it have been any of their models? Maybe. Could it have been any acoustic? Also maybe. The acoustic here is acting more as a metaphor than an acoustic. If your parents gave birth to you and they had a car where the windows in the back don't roll down, they're broken, but it's normal for you because you're born into it. It's like, oh, this button does nothing. One day they fix it. Boom, the window rolls down. There's wind on your face. Dad, what the fuck is this? Habibi, we went to the mechanic. I 
think Orangewood Guitars was my mechanic in this case. If you were one of the lucky few people who saw my ping pong video, where I played ping pong with Jacob. Hey, what's up? I'm Jacob. Who happens to be the artist relations guy at Orangewood. Long story short, I lost that ping pong match and I had to make a review for their guitar. We win. We want a review video of an Orangewood guitar. But luckily... It can be comedy, it can be a parody, you can do it however you like. Which is good because I don't really make guitar reviews. I don't care about guitars. I don't care about gears or objects unless it can provide inspiration. And in this case, this guitar provided a lot of inspiration. And I have Orangewood to thank for that. I have, I owe them that inspiration. I, I owe, I have them to owe. Nope. How do you finish that sentence? So if you're currently a musician who is struggling to get their ideas out, maybe you need to find these moving parts that are not moving. You need to find these moving parts that are broken and either take them out or make them moving again. It doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't even have to cost money. And for you, it can just be just getting rid of one of your shitty little steps in that little cycle. I'm sure you will figure it out because musicians are very resourceful. Let's just say that. Let's say they're resourceful. Thank you for joining me on this rant. And before I leave, I encourage you to check out my new single, Every Night. Every Night. Because I, I released it and I would like for you to listen to it. If not, that's cool. But if yes, you're cool. <laughs> I swear I'll oil this chair someday. I, sp I swear.